हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पेज टेबल सो वेलकम हियर एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दिस क्लास द पेज टेबल एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द मैपिंग द मैपिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लॉजिकल एड्रेस ओके द लॉजिकल एड्रेस is going to map to the physical address okay logical address is going to map to the physical address and this translation of okay address uh, and this translation is done by using page table okay page table is responsible the main you can say the responsibility of this translation is lies with the page table okay so this is a page 0 page 1 page 2 page 3 this is your logical memory and we have a page table which is performing this uh, this mapping and in this mapping is suppose zero page table is on page page number 1 to so zero uh, if you go to the one page then you will find basically this page is side with page 0 then one page uh, uh, page 1 logical page 1 is mapped to 4 So if you go to four, there will be logical page. Okay. So now here, uh, this is your uh, page number. Okay. This is your page number, and each entry here is basically the frame number. Okay. Each entry is the frame number. See, so this is the page number. The so zeroth page number is mapped to. page number uh, frame number 1 so you go to the frame number 1 you get this address okay so this is a page table and page table translation from the logical address to the physical address now this is the complete uh, page uh, page uh, paging hardware in this case and this part we have already discussed that virtual address has been divided into page number and offset value okay so there is a page number okay there is a page number and there is an offset part okay there is an offset part okay so here uh, if uh, now we have what in this case is a page table base register page this is a new hardware a new register in this case which is uh, holding page table base page table okay base register page table base register holds a uh, value of okay value of a uh, base address base address of page table in main memory okay so page table is implemented in the main memory in main memory so page table is implemented or resides in the main memory in main memory the base address of the main memory will be hold in base address of page table sorry base address of page table holds in ptbr okay page table base register so what this register will do it will give you the base address and will take the page number okay page number so like here if you look at the previous diagram here these numbers are simply 0 1 2 3 and these are again these are where in the main memory we don't know okay where in the main memory these are again the logical address and page number is also sort of um, logical address only but now this clearly said here in this case page table base register consists of the uh the base address of the base address of the base address of the page table and this will be added okay this will be added by this page added to the page number then finally we'll go to this this entry of the page table okay this entry of the page table is called page table entry okay this entry is called page table entry okay so this is called pte page table entry and uh, there are many fields are there the key field here in this case is the key field of pte page table entry is the frame number okay the frame number so we'll get the frame number out of it here which is of size let's say m bit okay and so this is your m bit frame number and this offset field come as it is here in this case okay this offset field come as it is in this so now we combine with the frame number and this offset field together we will go to the frame this is your frame and this is the offset part here in this case okay this is the frame number 
this is the main memory okay so this is the idea of paging and this is the idea of the translation okay translation the logical address to physical address okay so this is how does it work uh, this paging hardware so we required total support of hardware in this case we required a register we required the addition we have to go to this page table which is again an entry hardware entry we get the frame number out of it we combine with offset we'll go to the main memory this is the idea so page table a page table is what page table consists of what page table consists of so page table consists of translation consists of of frame number frame number for corresponding page number okay so there is a table and uh, definition wise so this will look like this only okay but we have only one thing uh, added in this case we are adding this value of ptbr okay ptbr ptbr is added and uh, that will add it with the page number now uh, so this is the page, page table and uh, it is consist of so there are uh, there are few entities that we have to understand about this page table uh, this is a frame number another point is a page table resides in main memory okay so it is it is not anywhere else it is it always present in the main memory uh, more thing about the page table is there is a base register ptbr page table base register contain address of main memory address of main memory from where page table is implemented okay so that is your uh, page table few points so now we will deal uh, we'll talk about a few more thing in page table that how many entries will be there in the page table size of the page table and page table base register which is consist of base address base address of page table in main memory so we have already discussed this part okay page table base register i already told you that it contain the base address of the base address of the first element base address of the first element of the first entry in the page table number of entries in the page table so how big your page table will be okay now how big your page table will be and how many entries will be present in this page table okay so this is something like this implemented okay and there will be entry number 1 entry 2 entry 3 entry 4 entry 5 entry 6 and so on okay so there will be entries huh? each each entry so this is my page table and here each entry will be called page table entry page table entry okay the question here we are answering is the number of entries in the page table number of entries in page table okay so now uh, answer here in this case is in this case there will be an entry there will be entry for each page in system okay so there will be entry for each page in the system so now for example if i have a if i have a system with the 40 bit virtual address 40 bits virtual address and suppose page size is page size is equal to let's say uh, 16 kilobyte so 
so i already told you this division that virtual address will be divided into two part and that part is consist of this is your 40 bits and here page size is 16 kilobyte 2 to the power 14 byte let's assume nothing is mentioned then we'll assume byte addressability and i'll assign 14 bits here and 26 bit will be here so the number of pages uh, number of pages is equal to what 2 to the power 26 pages will be there okay from 26 different bits we can generate 2 to the power 26 different pages and there will be an entry for each page okay there will be entry for uh, there will be entry for e uh, number of there will be entry for each page in the system and number of pages 2 to the power 26 so how many entries are there there will be zeroth entry there will be one there will be two there will be three there will be four and there will be 2 to the power 26 minus 1 entry total 2 to the power 26 entry will be there in the space 2 to the power 60 entries will be present in the page tip okay so that is the answer of this question that how many entries will be there uh, so number of entries will be uh, uh, number of entries will be in 2 to the power 26 it's a calculation okay size of the page table the so size of the page table we calculate in this so size of page table will be what in this case the so size of the page table will be 2 to the power okay fine uh, 2 to the power number of bits in page number okay page number multiplied by size of each entry or i can say size of pte page table entry so that is the idea here that uh, let me go back to this diagram so the number of entries 2 to the power 26 here okay 2 to the power 26 entries are there 2 to the power 26 entries are there multiplied by this size uh, this is what pte page table entry the multiplied by pte uh, whatever the size will be 2 to the power 26 multiplied by pte So that is the size of the page table and you can think of this is a complete uh, sort of formula in this case. Now coming back to uh, the third term in this case is the page table entry. Huh? So what exactly the page table entry in this? So there are various entries are there that is available in this page table. A uh, few will be used, few may not be used but for the time being we are saying size of PT. So these are few things. Uh, the main entry here and here in the diagram also it will be clear to you that in this diagram the main entry is what frame number okay so that is the frame number uh, the one of the most important entry as many as bit, bits required to recognize a frame in the physical memory space okay so frame number is the one of the key entity key entry of this there will be frame number okay apart from that you have a dirty bit a dirty bit modified bit is bit is associated with each block of computer memory indicate whether the corresponding block of the memory has been modified or not so if there is a modification to the corresponding memory block main memory block then this bit will be set to 1 otherwise it will remain 0 valid invalid bit the logical address space uh, of a program is large and uh, we are using all this address as a in non contiguous manner okay con non contiguous manner right so here the if it is is used in non contiguous manner then there will be maybe possible to have a large amount of the space left between stack and the heap okay and the pages corresponding to the unused space is invalid so that So that is invalid. The reference bit is, uh, is is we haven't learned till now, but there are in virtual uh, in virtual memory we will talk about page replacement policy or page replacement policy, and we page rep replacement policy some policy required the hardware support, and the replacement algorithm such as FIFO must have used. 
many system provide some help however from the reference bit the reference bit of the page is set uh, by the hardware uh, whenever page is referenced okay so we can have this algorithm uh, which is not done till now uh, we will do it maybe in the next classes that uh, what is basically the uh, reference bit but it is for some some uh, page replacement policy and lru Protection bit is the page is protected from the unauthorized access uh, to achieve the access control protection bits are used okay so read only read write only that is the protection control here in this case you cannot go and uh, no, modify any pages in the memory. Size of the page table is number of pages into PT that I already told you okay. So there are many things are there are many things other things are there and there is a frame number and we have a valid bit we have a reference bit we have a protection bit we have a in this case reference for a valid dirty bit okay valid and modified bit okay so there are many bits uh, are other bits are also associated for maintaining the entire page okay so that is the that is the all point here uh, about this uh, about this page table and we have seen it uh, almost in every context here in this case that what exactly the page table uh, with the help of this is the entire hardware part with the page table base register then we have seen this uh, this number of entries in the page table so that is your 2 to the power number of entries in the page table will be number of pages in the main memory and here number of entries is 2 to the power number of bits in the page number multiplied by size of each page table entry okay and what does the page table entry consist of so we have seen that there are many fields are there few I have you I have written over here like frame number dirty valid reference bit okay so that's all for this discussion and I hope you agree with this discussion and now in the next section we are going to solve problem related with page table okay so thank you